Mobile Media TV. We're here with an icon, Mr. Frank Sibero. Am I correct? That's correct. You got it right. How are you today? Everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks uh, for coming by, saying hello. And uh, you know, it's uh, it's a big, big show. It's a lot of celebrities here, a lot of great actors, a lot of memories. You know, after 40, 43 years in the business, uh, you get to see people kind of, you know, they, we all go in a different direction. Even that we're, we're a very small, successful group. And I happen to be very fortunate to work with a couple of two of, two of the best gangsters movies ever made in Hollywood, and that's Goodfellas and Godfather too. Right. Okay. They don't make movies like that anymore. Yeah, I'm very proud of, you know to work with the talent of Robert De Niro, Pesci, and to practice like Martin Scorsese, Francis Ford Coppola. Of course, I've done over 40 some movies and a lot of TV shows, but. I'm here representing the fellas and pop other two, and uh, I just hope people out there, you know, continue to watch. They keep playing those movies all the time. Yeah. They're going to be around. Uh, until I'm gone, they're still going to play them. Yes, so, sir. take care of all of you, and I hope uh, I've entertained you the best I can. The best I could, the best I can, I will continue to entertain you. Until they put the grave, until they put the nails on, the, on that coffin, I'll still be around. And possible to be playing wise guys, but that's okay. I like to play wise guys. Take care and thank you. I know you're a seasoned actor. Is there any roles that you've turned down in your journey? Well, I, I, yes, I've turned, I've turned down several roles, not because uh, they, they were elevating me to another position. They, they didn't mean anything. I had played them before. So basically, there were roles that I, they were repetitious. You, you know, they just did not sweeten the situation where they wanted to, the way I would like them to. And I would have obviously made the films even better the way they turned out. Because I'm able to bring certain truth. My background, of course, is training. My studies is no longer the teachers are not around anymore in Strasbourg. You know, the actors do is not the same anymore. And uh, most of the teachers that I study with, uh, they're all dead. But they left a mark in me, so I'm able to use them in my craft. Besides my own personal experience growing up in Brooklyn, being originally from Sicily, I came to America as a young kid. Uh, my first language, of course, was Italian, and so English was really my second language. It was really kind of rough for me in the early days, but I went through the whole process. Took speech lessons, dance lessons, singing lessons. You had to stop them work. The speech lessons, yeah. One time I had no accent. I was doing a lot of plays, and then I began to play these New Yorkers and heavies and this and that, so I kind of uh, I carry on the tradition as far as the Brooklyn, New York accent. But I've been making a living out of it, and uh, you know, some bad times which I clean it up. There's times I play nice people, family man, and I will continue to play versatile roles as long as they want me. And I'm sure there'll always be room out there for me. And thank you again, and thank you for this interview.